Good morning. Welcome to Eureka Channel. I am Mujaru Kwaru, your popular family therapist and relationship coach. And uh, this time, I welcome to you. I welcome you to a video on which I'm preparing this morning. And I'm trying to answer a question, is marriage necessary? This is a big question in our society. Is it really necessary to get married? Why should people get married? And so, as a sociologist and a counselor, I'm trying, I'm going to try to answer this question. Now, during socialization process, whilst we were growing up, we are socialized, we see our parents, we see our mothers, we see our fathers, and so we assume it is very normal for one to get married. To be to a, be a standard wife is a normal thing. And that is why children, even when they are young, they are being, they, they try to dramatize a father and a mother. And this is showing you that one day, this is the dream which they have. And so when they come, when they grow up, when they come, when they come of age, they are going to marry. So they desire to be one day to be husband and wife. This is now based on our culture, socialization. It's a proper thing. Marriage is a proper thing, the world over. It is something which is esteemed, something which is valued. And so, so everyone would like to follow the societal norms. Now, according to the society, they will not expect you to behave in a certain way when it comes even to having sex. Sex should be expressed within the limits of the societal standards, within the norms and the morals of the society. And so culture has set standards and boundaries. And so culture, every culture in the world over, they would expect you to get a husband or a wife so that you express sex in such an environment. They don't expect you to be expressing sex or to be getting sex anywhere outside the marriage institution. And then marriage is also taken as an achievement in a society. And then also people get to marriage because of curiosity. You are so curious, what does marriage life beyond? So why don't I get into it so that it satisfies my curiosity? There is also the aspect of economy. You want to get married because two are better than one. You are going to pull the resources. Others can get married to end career. You can you are in a certain organization. You can get married to the boss's daughter so that you get promotion. After all, now you are part and parcel of that family by extension by marriage. Others marry because of feeling sorry to one another. Probably you have been with a person for a long time, in a relationship for a long time, and when you tell them that now you want to, to, to continue with your own life, they tell you that I'm going to commit suicide. So out of feeling sorry, you end up now getting married to that person. Not that you love that person, but because out of sympathy, you get married or you marry that person. The aspect of the peer pressure is also very much, much a factor when it comes not to marriage. My age mates are married, all my age mates are both married, I'm, I'm the only one being great. So I should join the marriage tree. Then there is also the aspect of marital pregnancy. Probably you are Christian, and you see now according to the Christian values, you are not supposed to be involved in fornication according to the teaching of Christianity. So now, what happens when you get that you have been body pregnant in the fornication and you are become pregnant and you don't want to assume the family or even the church to know? So you get you try to do early marriage so that you cover up that shame of of premarital pregnancy. So the other aspect is the aspect of citizenship. Some would like to get married, probably want to go to America. And uh, so you get married to an American so that you get citizenship and then you locate, for example, from Kenya to America. Then another aspect is the aspect of, uh, 
of your parents. Your parents may be aged, and uh, now you want somebody who can be taking care of your parents. Probably you're working far away, so you get married so that you get someone to take care of your past of your parents. Then another thing is the aspect of lineage. Church society will like someone who is going to continue the lineage. For example, to come to men, you want somebody who is going to continue once you die, and which of course we know death is very inevitable, it's a sure thing. Death is very inevitable. So you marry in order to continue with the lineage. Others marry in order to be thought that you are normal. It's so that the society don't question your abnormality. They might think that probably you are gay. So how, how can you put that one to a stop by marrying? And then finally, some can marry because of to boost your status. You marry a minister's daughter so that at least you say, I am married to a minister's daughter, certain CEO or a certain senior person in the society. Otherwise, thank you very much. I hope you have enjoyed this video on is marriage necessary? I leave it to you for you to answer that question. Is marriage necessary? Answer that question based on my presentation. Otherwise, thank you very much for listening to me and I would encourage you to share this video with other people or if you have not even subscribed uh, kindly, I would like you to subscribe so that you will be able to be notified and make sure you also click the notification bell. Thank you.